Hi there, welcome to this video when I'm in Scotland at RSPB Barons Huff. So I'm on my way up to a photographic course near Inverness and so I've stopped halfway just outside Glasgow at RSPB Barons Huff. Now I've never been here before so I don't know what I'm going to find so it should be quite interesting. I know there's a large lake with a few hides dotted around it so I'm going to visit those this morning and see what I can see and hopefully um, the weather will stay fine. It's looking a little bit dicey, there's some black clothes over there but never mind I'll see what happens and either way I know I'm really going to enjoy my photography. Barons Hoff is a thriving community nature reserve in Motherwell and it's a real gem for wildlife. You can spend time in one of the wetland hides spotting ducks and swans or wander through the woods looking for woodpeckers and nut hatches. And maybe if you're lucky you might even see a kingfisher or an otter on the river. So I've just had an interesting sighting on this field here behind me. There's a flock of about 30 birds. Now you know how bad I am at identifying birds, um, so I'm not going to commit myself to an actual um, positive ID. I'll check it when I get home. Um, but there are quite a lot of these birds and I've got some nice photographs of them on the floor feeding and one in the tree as well. So um, that was a really good start. It turns out that the flock of birds that I saw are red wing. Now I've only seen one before, which is why I wasn't very sure about what it was. But generally it is rather shy and much of its behavior is like a song thrush, but it's more sociable outside the breeding season. Northern populations move on a brood front between September and November and Icelandic birds tend to winter in Scotland which is why I saw them here. And it was a previously red listed bird on the strength of dwindling breeding populations and it nests mostly in the highlands of Scotland. So I've just spent a little bit of time photographing some magpie just nestled in this tree here. Um, at one point there was three of them all together posing quite nicely so there's another nice photograph. So I've arrived at the first hide and unfortunately there doesn't seem to be a lot of activity out on the water just here. There is a couple of mallard um, that I've taken a photograph of um, but the birds seem to be a lot further away on another part of the lake. Now just looking at them from a distance I can't really identify them but I suspect they're probably more mallard and I think there are a few gulls about as well. But this is an interesting time just to mention that just here I don't know whether you can notice on the video but there's a lot of traffic traveling along there and that's the motorway that I've pulled off to visit this reserve so it's not put me out of my way at all and so when I get back on the road to um, go up towards Inverness it's going to take a few minutes just to get back on the motorway. Now hopefully my microphone's picking up the wrens that are outside the hide. Now you probably can't see them but I keep getting glimpses of them um, at different times and hopefully one will land in a good location reasonably soon and I'll be able to take its photograph. Mm. 
Now the wrens seem to have moved on, I can't hear them anymore, and I did get a mediocre shot of one through some branches. It didn't really pose very well before they um, disappeared. And on the water it seems like they are mostly mallard. There's a couple of mooch swans out, but they're very far away, so I don't think I'm going to get a great deal here. I might just stay a little while just to see if the wrens return. Now if you're enjoying this video and it's the first time you've visited the channel and haven't yet clicked the like, subscribe and the bell notifications, go ahead and do that now because it really does help me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content. Well it is an absolutely lovely place but I don't know what I'm going to actually see today. Anything that I do see is going to be really opportune and it's just going to be really down to luck. There's not a lot of interesting wildlife out on the lake. Um, and so it's just going to be keeping my eyes and ears open and just crossing my fingers that I see something. So the RSPB is a great organisation that helps keep places like this um, open and available for people to enjoy and more importantly for the wildlife to thrive and survive. Um, they're a charity that depend on donations and memberships to help them grow and recently I've done a collaboration with RSPB Marshside so if you haven't seen that go and check that out just up here. And if you'd like to support the RSPB you can do that by visiting rspb.org org.uk there you can find out lots more information about memberships and also reserves that might be near you The path just here has brought me alongside the River Clyde that you can see behind me and a little bit further up the river there's a cormorant sitting on a branch and another one has just landed as well. Um, now I've taken a photograph from quite a distance away just so I've got one in the bag but what I'm going to try and do is edge my way a little bit closer and see if I can get a better shot from a closer distance. That is certainly the shot of the day. Um, I'm going to have to do well to beat that today. Um, the cormorant is sitting on this log just here out in the river and it's only about 20 metres away and I found a lovely gap just here in the foliage at the edge of the river and I've got some really nice shots and some video as well. So if I go away with nothing else today that is in the can and that's a winner. Well, I've had a really good time this morning here at Barons Huff. Now, I think I've suffered a little bit by being in a little bit of a rush. Today has really been a stopover as I travel up to the north of Scotland because I've got another three and a half hours still to go. Um, but I've had a great time. Um, I have got some photographs of birds and I think those cormorants have really stood out um, and I really like those shots. Well, if you have enjoyed that video, do let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram or Vero account. That's at the Oakton Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my photographs. Now, if you like what I do on the 
channel and want to help support me to make future content like this, then you can also leave via the gift shop. That's at Teespring. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer, so head off over there because a purchase really does help me out and it's very much appreciated. And also, don't forget the super thanks button as well. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications. It really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content. Watch out for next week's video. That goes live on Sunday. In the meantime, go and check out this video just up here. But all that's left now is to say, stay safe and I'll see you soon.